In terms of Crossrail 2 being approved, it's not a surprise. It's something that's been in the works for a long time. Uh, but it does refocus, I think, our attention on the need to, to protect our community. Uh, those of us campaigning for uh, the, uh, the station, the ticket station, to be located somewhere else, uh, aren't campaigning against Crossrail 2 itself. But what we're campaigning for is for the, uh, the station not to be not to be located here. Uh, the Crossrail 2 team whom we've met have told us that they'll be taking going to great lengths to minimise the impact on the local environment. But there's only so much you can do. We've already we can see uh, pile drivers across from our shop window here right now from the other development that's going on. There are people here who have people who have built their lives here. Some of our neighbours have been living here for decades and their houses are, uh, their homes are under threat, you know, where they've lived all their lives, raised their children. And they're really, it's a really unique, it's a small but really unique and a uh, street that's full of character. You'll see that it's a fantastically popular space and area and the businesses here are really, really um, dynamic and, you know, full of life. An argument could be made, oh, there'll be more people, you know, wouldn't that be good for your business, etc., etc., but, you know, at what, at what cost? So, you know, that's what I'd like to say, you know, we stand with our, our friends and neighbours and um, we'll continue to support the campaign to save Bradbury Street and where we can.